Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. In my previous videos where we are covering Gen AI based AI automation tool, test trigger, I had made some mistakes and because of which it was not working. The test basically was not working. So in this video, we are going to see how I resolved that issue and what mistake I was making. So without any delay, let's start the video. Okay, so now if you see, I was on this screen, uh, test trigger, and I had created two different test cases, uh, verify successful login and login. And in here, actually what was happening, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, you can go and watch that also, uh, where I had covered how to create your first test case, how to debug the test case. Basically, I was getting this issue, so that's why I had created that video. So in here, basically what we are trying to see, uh, do actually, if you see over here, this is test case. And on this particular uh, screen, this is the test case, verify successful login, where we are trying to successfully test the login. So the first step says navigate to open, um, open source demo orange HRM live. Uh, so the page I'll just open quickly and And when we are on this particular page, we are trying to just log in using the password and the password and login and clicking on this login button. And then after we are just verifying whether this dashboard page has opened or not. So if we just see that uh, I was making mistake uh, in here, enter admin into username. So basically I should have used enter what? into where so here uh, if you see there is a documentation so how did i write this so i'll just go over here so over here if you see there are some uh, syntaxes given for each of the commands basically which you want to use in your automation so here enter uh, if we are going to enter this so enter stored value into like uh, what into where Okay, so if I have to enter something, enter uh, some value in where, so that's how I need to uh, write this enter statement. Like if there is any text box, then I should have written enter some value into text box. So like here, if you see in this checkbox, basically enter one into checkbox. Okay, similarly over here also select this value from my select. So this is for selects or drop down multi-line inputs so if there is multi-line inputs like um, you know multi-selects so enter text is starting from next line and ending with end something like that so you will see all the um, syntaxes given so over here similarly i did i made this change enter admin into username uh, which is username is a web element and enter this into this one more thing, uh, one more way is to just type and see over here. It gives me the uh, syntaxes also. So if you wanted to use enter, so enter text, what text you wanted to enter and where, like which element. So over here, if you see it highlights all different possible combinations you wanted to use with enter, uh, enter keyword. So that's what I need to use. Uh, so enter value into where, okay? So that's what I used for enter admin into uh, username, admin one, two, three into password, and then click login. So again, for login also, you see over here, if I use click, click, and then simply you need to pass on the element name, okay? So in here, uh, I just put this way, like only login, and in the in the test also if i go and show you it tries to identify basically on the login screen if you see this is login screen and here it founds uh, finds two different login so one login is this and another login is this and then it uh, you know identifies okay uh, which one is text and which one is button and based on that it tries to click on the button okay but here if i just mention this way so this will be more accurate okay so if i just use this and 
now i try to save and retest okay before retesting i had put one uh, one check also like validation so check that page contains dashboard menu below performance so i had given the place also of dashboard so if you see over here once i log in there are two dashboards one is this one and one is this one so i need to use exact place where we, i want to um, verify i want to validate the text so it is here and now i used this here okay so here uh, i gave the exact place and then if i now save and retest it is going to it is going to start the test so your test case is being executed so over here if i just expand this so i'll be able to see what is happening okay so it launched the browser and now it is going to run our test cases and once each test case is getting executed so we can see the execution also where exactly execution is happening so over here it has executed the first so this this shows the live execution okay so now if you see it has entered admin into username so here you see this screenshot and once we can see that happening over here also from here also we can check it is happening and now if you see this has entered the password in the password field and now it should uh, click on login button so it's a little slow uh, right now but uh, let's see okay one very interesting thing is it shows us exact time also how much time did it take to or uh, to execute particular step so if you see over here it shows in green green that means this particular step was completed in one second 708 milliseconds and the second one took mostly you know one minute more than one minute so that's what it is showing as um, red and this took another 34 seconds so which is uh, you know sometimes servers are slow or machines are slow so that's why we see these slowness uh, sometimes okay so now if you see this has completed the execution so over here uh, if i show you the screenshot this is the launch of the browser then it has um, you know entered admin enter into the username similarly for password also it has entered the password then it clicked on um, it was verifying the login basically if you see over here it uh, was trying to find out the login correct login where it need to click so it has clicked on this login button and after this this has performed the validation also so if you see it has highlighted the dashboard which is uh, which it has verified so it found the dashboard actually where under the performance uh, menu so this has verified and that's how it has created the first test case we have created the first test case let's do one more thing one uh, you know negative scenario so in here what i'll do in the edit test case i'll go in here and in the edit test case what i'm going to do i am going to put some wrong values so here check that page contains instead of dashboard i'll say automate with amit something like that okay which don't don't exist anymore so i'll uh, click on save and retest and now it should fail and let's see what exactly it shows to us how much uh, you know um, errors or what errors it shows to us if uh, we are having a test failure okay so right now it is running and it is going to take two minutes as it says okay so now it has entered password also and it took a lot of time 45 seconds let's see for next step and it should wait for a couple of you know maybe a test trigger has its own weight so it will wait for some time for making sure that particular uh, you know what we want to see over here like in this case uh, automate with Amit which we want so it will check for some time so now basically if you see it has clicked on the login button and uh, it after the login it should wait for some time to make sure 
automate with Amit text is appearing on the dashboard page or not. Okay, so now if you see, it has verified this page and over here if you see, it shows that automate with Amit text is not found. So check that page contains automate with Amit. This particular error is it is showing menu below performance. So there is no dashboard page. So let's see, uh, this is the error page doesn't contain automate with Amit, but it's supposed to be to in command. Check that page contains automate with Amit menu below performance. So now from here, you can go to this error also. So what is the error? Actually, you can check what is the error uh, from here. You can see what is uh, exactly the screenshot and all. And from here, actually, if it is an issue, you found out that this is an issue, you can create an issue using this uh, plugin. So it can directly, you know, create a Jira um, ticket for you and you can, you know, create ticket straightforward from here itself and it is going to attach uh, you know you can attach your uh, screenshots or any you know uh, any uh, artifacts also whichever is required into the test so that was all in this particular video where i had covered some positive and negative scenarios of writing your first test case in test trigger you can also check out my previous video where i had covered more about test trigger what are different uh, features of test trigger and how you can start automating your first test scenario in test trigger and in this video we had uh, already covered the first test case and it is also important to know what issues you can face so don't forget to watch my previous video as well do let me know in the comment box if you are liking this particular video series and you have some other suggestions or some video requests i am going to create videos on that as well and don't forget to check out my channel membership where i am going to answer all your queries and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button and post your comment whatever you feel it takes a lot of efforts to create such videos so your comments matters me a lot do comment and let me know and see you in the next one